All right, we're celebrating Chinese New Year with authentic Asian cuisine, and here to show us how to make traditional dishes with modern ingredients is Chef Chris Jung of Monkey Bar. Welcome. Should Thank I say Gong Hei Fa Choi? Gong Hei Fa Choi. Fa Choi. That means Happy New Year, everybody. All right, uh, one of the favorites of many people definitely has to be pot stickers, right? Yes, yes. But it seems kind the of like a difficult company. thing to do. Uh, pretty easy. Pretty, pretty easy. easy. Just take some dough. You can buy some uh, pre. Uh, uh, pre-made wrappers in okay. any Asian grocery store. We have some uh, uh, dumpling skins right here. Okay. You just fill it and you saute it on the pan. All right, so let's start. Let's start out okay. with the dough first. So okay. how do you make the dough? Okay, so you get some dough, little yeah. circle, little ball. Is this like any kind of dough that you can this make? This is uh, all-purpose flour uh -huh. and uh, some hot water. Okay. And uh, you can put a pinch of salt in it. Okay. And you mix it up and, uh, you know, you roll that out. Okay, great. Right, so All right, that get, sounds easy enough. Get okay. a little bit of... Uh, Flour. Okay. Okay. And you hold the uh, the pin down. It's a thin pin. It's okay. It's like regular. a little rolling pin. Yep. Okay. Rolling pin, and you just roll it into a circle. Okay. Is is a circle like uh, thicker so the it's dumplings a, don't you fall apart? Or you go from the middle to the end. Okay. And you roll so the end the uh, the perimeter okay. is thinner than the actual thing. So you can try that. I have the we have a couple of pieces made already. So okay. all you do is uh, you'll take. Um, a piece of shrimp. Okay. And this is rock shrimp right here. Rock shrimp. Now, is the shrimp cooked already? The shrimp is not cooked already. They will cook in the pan. Okay, so you can just get like some uh, some shrimp and just, it's just plain shrimp, not salted, not put any, nope, anything in it. No, you can just buy shrimp and cut it and peel and clean and, yourself. And what's this little here? And that is a uh, pork mixture of pork, scallions, ginger, a little black bean. Okay, a little okay. black. So you take the little shrimp. Yep. You put them in the middle. Mm -hmm. You take the little, well, I won't use my hands. <laughs> I'll use this, and you put that in the yep. middle. Okay. And you fold, so okay. you you got to crimp and pinch. Crimp, crimp and, and pinch. pinch. I don't know if I'm really good at go. that. Is there like an easier way of crimping and pinching? Uh, nope. Okay. This is it, and then you just put it you on. You just the, get better at it. Yeah, with a lot of practice. Okay. Okay, and then you put it on the table, and you form it out. Okay. And you have a pot sticker right there. Okay. That's not okay. bad. That's, That's perfect. Not... I'd eat that. So tell us where the pot sticker came from. Where did it originally get its name from? Um, well, basically, since you put it on the pan, oh. you put it on the pan with a little oil and you sear the bottom. Okay. And uh, what happens is you add water. Okay, tell us the key to this because a lot of people get pot stickers. You can get pre-made pot stickers and things like that. And this is the real trick to getting them seared and yep. then seamed. Get a hot pan. Okay. In case we're using a Teflon, but you could use any pan. Okay. And uh, you put some oil in the pan. You put the pot stickers down until they sear. Until they sear. All right. And they and should get a little brown. Just, yeah, they're getting a little you're just brown. Gonna get brown in the bottom and what you're going to do is if there's a little too much oil you can take the oil out okay but if uh, like this is good after they sear it what you're going to do is add water all right watch the grease does splatter a little bit okay because okay. yeah when you mix oil yep. and uh, oil and water it just does yeah. splatter, and it's yep. only a teaspoon of oil folks that we're using so this is really healthy yes and you fill the water up to about maybe uh, a third or a quarter way up the dumpling try not to pour the water on the dumpling okay put uh, it around the dumpling yep. now let's say you um, misjudge and you put too much water on the dumpling is that gonna make it too soggy you can pour some water out okay you can pour some water yeah. out that's this, easy Chris yeah. I like make a that. mistake you can fix it all right so now how do you steam it you take another pan you take you another pan and you could just put a cover on it okay. and after the um, water um, you know is all boiled away yeah. you take off and what you'll have is a spatula and that's where the name came from because they'll stick to the pan I got it. these days you have Teflon pens that yeah. stick to the I pan but for a normal pin, they'll stick, and you take your spatula and you scrape it right, right out. And what you get is a beautiful sear like All right, let's steam these babies up, and okay. let's start our dessert dumplings. I mean, okay. these sounds delicious, so tell us how do okay. we do that. Well, uh, we are this is doing... This a definite twist here. Yes, we're doing all uh, all week for Chinese New Year. I'm giving these away okay. as petty fours at the end of the meal. Okay. So these are an old um, uh, Cantonese uh, dish, okay. and they're called uh, chi doi, or ching doi. doi. Yep. Ching doi. And uh, it's, a, uh, it's a dough made with uh, some wheat starch and some rice flour. Okay. And uh, same thing, you put some hot water in it, you mix it together in the bowl. Okay, I'll cheat and take the ones yep. that are already pre made. Bowl. Okay. Like that. Smush it with your hand. Okay. And then what you're going to do. Just fan it out? Yep, and just fan it out. You have some uh, chocolate. We use chocolate cake, chocolate, chocolate brownie. Cake. Oh, we made ours. Delicious. You can buy it. Okay. Okay, and put you it put in it the in the middle. You cup it with your hand. Cup it with your hand. All right, and you push down okay. as you're uh, forming with your fingers. Okay. Okay. Right. Looks like a little flower. Yeah. And then what you're going to do is you have a ball. Okay. Right? So it's totally enclosed. And you'll get a little bit of water. Okay. Put it in your hand. Put it in your hand. And a little bit of, uh, okay. you know, sesame seeds. Oh, yes. Right? And then you put and it. And the, the sesame seeds stick. Okay. 
to the dough. Okay, and then you just put them in a and deep fryer? And then you just put them in a pot of oil, okay. deep fryer if you have it, but okay. uh, a pot of oil to about 350 degrees. How long? Uh, it takes about six minutes to cook. Six minutes and this yep. is the end. This is the end result. You'll just drop them in the oil. Okay. When they rise up here. from the oil, they're done. That's when you know when they're yep. done and they're delectable treat. Yep. All right, so I'm going to have a little bit of the pot sticker because who doesn't love a pot sticker at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning? Sure. Mmm. Mmm. Watch it hot. That was very attractive, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why people don't eat on TV. Mm. All right, Chef Chris, thank you so much for coming in. My pleasure. For more information on Monkey Bar, just log on to Chef Chris's recipes on our website, cw11.com slash morning news. Where's the Monkey Bar located? 60 East 54th Street, Midtown Manhattan. We love it. Happy Chinese New Year to Happy you. Happy Chinese New Year. Kung Hei Fa Choi? Kung Hei Fa Choi. All right, keep it right here, folks, because next is performance by Sesame Street Live. Don't celebrate your party with you. Come on now.